Hey guys, it's Jen. So firstly, I would like to apologize for the quality of this video. Um, I'm using new software on a new computer. I might have possibly broken completely my old one. So it's just me trying to figure out what the best thing is to use and how. Um, for anyone that can help me who knows about these things, I have a Lenovo Windows 8. So if you have any like free software ideas, Please, what the f poop? He doesn't think I'm a person. Hello, oh, okay, there we go. Okay, thanks, room. So yeah, your suggestions would be lovely. Anyway, as the title suggests, today I have a slam poem for you. Uh, so without further ado, I'm rhyming already. Here we go. People tell me I'm a drama queen. That yeah, I'm short, but there's other ways to see than standing on a soapbox try to be reasonable. Well, see, it's easy to be what I think is reasonable, but not everyone is named Webster. Everyone has a different definition of what that entails. And I think the problem trails one major difference between me and these poor, emotion-deprived citizens who can't handle my theatricality. I think and act and live and breathe with my heart. I don't wear my heart on my sleeve because it's so busy pumping information into my skull. My logic is based off of what is in here. Yes, it's dangerous, but hear me out. It's not such a bad way to live. If I'm having a good day, I don't just say, hooray, my life doesn't suck and move on. No, I get so excited. There's not just butterflies in my stomach. There is an entire zoo. So there's nothing else to do but pace back and forth until the pressure releases. And if you see me on a really great night, I assure you I'm alright when I stride around the room like I am the goddamn president. Because whatever happened, whatever great food kissed my lips or cute boy made me swing my hips a little further, whatever it was, my brain said, you know what, heart? You got this. You deal with it. And maybe that's not healthy. Like giving a five-year-old the bills and expecting the lights to run, but my soul is always wanting to reach out, to run, to feel. It could be my Achilles heel, but I trust my heart to take these emotions and sort them. Like my body is a filing cabinet. Happy thoughts go here and bad thoughts go way over there and neutral thoughts? Well, it was time to be neutral. <laughs> to be ordinary. And ordinarily, the system works because my highs are so high. But with every beautiful thing, there tends to be caveats. There's the do's and do nots. And when I get sad, when sometimes life sours and goes bad, I hurt a lot. Just a bad grade on a test, someone a little too testy, or maybe I'm just feeling alone and that's it. I'm spiraling into yet another panic attack. Please just stand back and give me space to bleed out the poison. I didn't say it was always fun being driven from your chest. You try to put your best foot forward and when you fly, oh, you fly. But when you fall, it feels like there's a terrorist in the crawl space of your lungs. Please God, let there be something happy so I can breathe again, I know. You're probably convinced now this girl is a mad woman. Give her a checkup from a doctor or maybe just reality. What an awful way to live. Well. It's not. And if you pity me because you're emotion free and you think with your brain, well, I pity you. What's that moldy pink thing in the ebony rings of your skull have to do with love, with passion? And don't get all scientific on me, all you bio majors. Yes, I know you can't really think with your heart, but if you want to start bringing science into a metaphorical spoken word poem, oh honey, I pity you because you've missed the point. The worst curse imaginable would be to take away my heart. I'd just be a shell. If I got good news, I might smile and say, hmm, indubitably, society would deem this a moment of happiness. Oh my god, how awful would that be? Not to have to pace because I have so much, so much, so much inside of me. And to be unable to turn to poetry when I'm all dark inside and need my fingertips and keyboard to create something beautiful. How awful for the people that think with their heads. To not trust their own emotional intelligence and intuition. We don't follow our brains, we follow our hearts. We fill our heart with joy. Home is where the heart is. The heart, the heart, the heart. I think and act and live and breathe with my heart. Sometimes it backfires. But at least I have the flames to keep my soul warm. Of course it's crazy. And yeah, sometimes I'm one big emotional mess and I look like a walking, talking blob of estrogen.
But I'm not going to change because I'm brave enough to tough the bad stuff out so I can absorb like a sponge everything that is beautiful. I hope you can live this way too. If you need help, reach out and I'm there. And if you're a lone wolf, go howl your feelings on your own. But do something. Feel something. I dare you. So that was my video. I hope you liked it. If you did, you know what you could do? I know what you could do. You could give it a big thumbs up. That would be wonderful. Also, subscribing to my channel. Um, I changed the name so it might be easier to find. Because I was like, hmm, let's see if I can find my channel. And Gen L is like billions and trillions of people. So my name is now Generally. Um, partly because my friend calls me Jenner. And then my last name is Leader. So Lee. So it's J-E-N-N -N and then E-R-L-Y. Please subscribe. Please, sir. Can you subscribe? Also share this with all your friends. And um, if you have any suggestions, either for software that I can use that is free, free is a beautiful thing, um, or any of that kind of thing, please let me know. Or suggestions for the next video. If you have them, I want them. Anyway, have a lovely day. Goodbye.